too should have been there. The trucks almost had me, they did. Holding me back with all their weight. And even though it felt as if my boiler was going to burst, I pressed on. And I showed those trucks who was the bigger engine. Wow. And you know what Sir Top of Matt said to me? James, respectfully, I don't care. He said I was amazing. Oh, and really? I deserved to be the only okay. splendid red oh, engine on Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, my God. All right, James. Wow, you pulled one good train successfully. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, but these weren't just any trucks, Henry. They were trouble. Ask Edward. Oh, they were trouble. I wonder why. Oh, they were trouble. Why, halfway up the hill, the middle of the train broke loose and rolled down and found me at the bottom No, 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 Edward, after that. <laughs> oh, the train broke loose. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, you didn't, you didn't mention that part, James. It wasn't important. It was a very minor mishap that didn't need to be mentioned. Oh, whoops. Are you sure about that? Because I didn't believe you at first. But now the story makes a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah, those trucks really wanted to get away from you, didn't they? Those trucks decided to check out early. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Henry Gordon, that's enough. James was amazing. One minor setback can be excused. Thank you, Edward. Now, do you think it's fair to pester James about one little mishap with trucks? Well, Edward... To be fair, me and Gordon never bumped our coaches hard enough to be mended with bootlaces. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> Henry, remind me to ask Jeremiah to pick me up some spares. I might need them. <laughs> All right, you two, that's enough. No, no, it's fine, Edward. Let them laugh. <laughs> Uh, calm down, little Edward. It's all in good fun. Is it now? Of course, we're just having a little laugh. We're all close colleagues here at the end of the day. There's no malice between us. Pestering one another is only what an engine gets from talking too much who has very little to show. Yet. James is still fairly new here. He's still learning his way around. I'm sure someday he'll get a chance to prove his worth. Now, a fine, strong, tender engine like me, who's been here for years now, has something to talk about. I'm the only engine here that can pull the express. Oh, here we go. When I am unavailable for some reason, they need two engines to pull it. Oh, like when you burst your safety valve? <laughs> <coughs> I've pulled the express for years now, and while there have been a few minor mishaps, mostly due to maintenance problems. I have never once lost my way. I happen to know the right line by instinct. Doesn't the signalman have control over your line and not you? Oh, James. You really do talk too much. Now, let's call it a night and... Oh, we'll talk in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Am I wrong, though? No. You are very much correct. <laughs> Gordon thinks he knows everything. We'll see about that. And I've been here for like two years. Oh, sleep. James, it's nearly time for the express. What? What? Why are you telling me that? Well, you see, usually at this time, Thomas is already at the station, which gives me plenty of time to get myself ready. I'm not shunting your couches, Gordon! <laughs> oh, please. No! Oh, come on, it's so undignified if I do it. Gordon, we're all doing our own jobs now. We're not alternating here. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning sir. sir. Today is an important day, my boys. Gordon, I'm mostly talking to you. But today it is very important that we all be on time with no delays. The railway board is visiting us today. Oh. Uh, oh railway board now? Now I know you all don't like working under pressure. But these gentlemen will be watching all of you at various times throughout the day. So again, 
It is very important that there are no delays. Am I clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, wait a minute. Why does the railway board being here concern Gordon the most? Because, Henry, they will be boarding the express. So, Gordon, no high speeds, no nonsense. Understand? Yes, sir. Those men will be very impressed by the time I'm through with them. I shall hope so, Gordon. The rest of you know what to do? Make this railway proud, please. Yes, sir. Right then. Gordon, you best be off and fetch your coaches now. We don't want to take any chances of being late. Oh, yes, sir. Can't James or Edward fetch them while I get myself ready? Especially on an important day like this. Don't be lethargic, Gordon. The railway board will understand. Damn it. Yes, sir. One more quick thing. Will the new engine be here soon? I haven't even ordered one yet, Gordon. I still have to visit the workshops. Now go. Yes, sir. Engines, RC. Shut up! This should be Thomas fetching my coaches, not me. No, oh, hopefully that bad attitude won't affect you from losing your way today, Gordon. Especially with those railway men watching. Oh, please. Huh. Don't get your hopes up. And it's railway board. All right, make way, lads. Important express engine coming through. <laughs> Important. All right, gentlemen, right this way. <laughs> oh, watch your step there. <laughs> you know, it's funny how I got my train ready first, even though you left the sheds before me, Gordon. Pretty lethargic, if you ask me. James, do you even know what that word means? No, but I like it. Just you two watch and learn. I'm going to give these men the best and most impressive ride of their corporate lives. They might even have me transfer railways. <laughs> Steaming with the big boys. Transfer railways? Ha! <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> Goodbye, little James. Goodbye, Henry. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow? Oh, he's lost it now. They could transfer him? Yeah, but they're not going to. You see, James, Gordon is all full of crap. Why would we have our mainline express engine switch railways? We just lost our big station shunter. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't quite make much sense, does it? Transfer railways. Huh? That's a good one, Gordon. Leave me here with James. <sighs> and then there was one shunting goods on this... Important day. Call me shocked. Just a moment, dear. What's Gordon doing back here so soon? <sighs> Hopefully the yard is empty. Seems to be. The yard is empty. Seems to be. Hello, Gordon! <laughs> oh, oh. Is it tomorrow already? Yes! What are you doing here? Shunting goods. Did you, uh, lose your way, Gordon? <sighs> no. No, I did not. It was lost for me. I was switched off the main line and onto the loop. I had to go all around and back again. That is pretty unfortunate, Gordon. Perhaps it was instinct. <sighs> we want our money back. I'm going to be late. Call this a railway. I'm angry too. Everyone calm down. I apologize for the delay. I promise we will reach the station this time and be on schedule. Mm, I don't think so, Topper. Huh? We're not going anywhere. Not in that engine. What? 
I'm sorry? That engine is much too unreliable, and these people all need to get home. What, what about that engine over there? What? Uh, James? Well, uh, I don't uh, think... Uh, that wasn't a question. Uh, uh, yes, my good man. Oh, no. James! Yes, sir? Come over here, please. Yes, sir. I'm coming, sir. That'll be all, Gordon. You're on goods for the rest of the day. But, but, sir, this is absurd. I'm the express engine here. That mishap was out of my control. Don't argue with your controller. He assigned you a job. Unless you want to be sent packing, I suggest you be off. Oh. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Good luck. Thanks. <coughs> right, sir. Uh... Gentlemen, here's James. He'll be your engine for today. Splendid. Hmm, these railway men are speaking my language. All right, James. Now, I know you've had trouble with coaches before, but I need you to forget that, and don't try and give these men a good show. Forget they're even there. Just focus on getting these passengers home. Safely. Can you do that for me, James? Yes. Yes, I can, sir. That's a good engine. We would like to leave today, Topple. I'll be right over, lads. No pressure. None at all, sir. No pressure. Oh, James, please, no tricks. Don't worry, coaches. There shall be no bootlaces today. <laughs> Sir. Well, thank you for the ride, James. Come on, lads. Well, James, you got the passengers home and impressed the railway board. You were indeed a splendid express engine. Thank you, sir. Hmm. Would you like to pull it again sometime? Oh, sir, yes, please. Uh, will the railway men have Gordon be sent away, sir? I had to do some convincing on the ride here, but I assure you, James, Gordon is staying right here where he belongs. I might have a talk with him later, but I'm sure he knows his lesson by now. Oh, okay. That's good to hear, because this was exhausting. I could never do this all the time, sir. <laughs> and that is why Gordon is going nowhere, James. The offer still stands when another express engine is needed, however. Thank you, sir. You can rely on me. That's a good engine. Hello, Gordon. Oh, uh, hello, little James. I'm sorry things didn't work out with you in the railway mit board. That's all right, James. I should be the one who's sorry. I was in way over my head. You did well with the express, I heard. Oh, uh, well, you could say my instinct kicked in. <laughs> I'm sorry you got demoted to goods work. 
You know, I actually like some quiet work for a change. I'm currently teaching these sorry trucks some manners. Yeah, throw me off the line, why don't you? <laughs> Uh, we need another tank engine here. No, we definitely do. 